Hi, I'm Sean with Really Great Gear. In this video, we're going to unbox and evaluate gear sent to us from the Crate Club. If you don't know, Crate Club was started by the guys at SoftRep who put out the website SoftRep.com. SoftRep.com is an awesome website that puts out news and stories about the military and special operations. The guys at SoftRep are legit SEALs, Marines, Special Forces that have been there and done that. So guys, thank you for your service and sacrifice. However, we are gonna review the Crate Club that SoftRep started offering. The Crate Club is a subscription service like many others. The Crate Club offers to send you tactical gear hand-picked by special ops vets. They claim they only offer gear that their special ops guys have sourced, tested, and approved. The Crate Club comes in three levels. Level one is the standard level and ranges between $24 and $30 per month, depending upon your subscription level whether you subscribe monthly, every six months, or every 12 months. Level two is Crate Club Pro, which is described as an awesome upgrade over standard and ranges from $48 a month to $60 a month, depending upon your subscription level. The highest level is Crate Club Premium, which is sent quarterly at a rate of $399. The premium crate is described as the holy grail of gear subscriptions with an emphasis on hard to get, exclusive gear. Membership is also said to be limited. Now, for a little bit of background, I'm a veteran with over 14 years of military experience, but full disclosure, I was a pilot, not a guy on the ground carrying a rifle, going door to door. So I don't have the same real life experiences that the guys from SoftRep do. However, I did own a gun and tactical gear shop in California for a number of years. A lot of our business was selling gear to SWAT teams and state and federal agencies. So I've gotten pretty good, I think, at evaluating gear. We even used to have gear custom made for us. With that said, let's take a look inside Crate Club's premium crate. First off, the crate isn't a crate. As you can see, it's a cardboard box. That's kind of misleading and disappointing in my opinion, because in all of Crate Club's ads and emails, they show you this beautiful wooden crate with burned in logos that you think you're gonna be getting your gear in. And truth be told, for the price that you're paying for the premium crate, it's a reasonable thing to expect. The crate is also kind of sloppily sealed with just a single strip of tape over the top that's got a gap between the seam and where the tape is. One suggestion for the shipping department, maybe you can pay a little bit more attention to detail. Now, let's see what's inside the crate or box. So we open it up. Okay, first impression, looks like stuff was just kind of thrown in here. There's no padding, no packing. Looks like it was just an assembly line. People started tossing stuff in. Kind of sloppy in my opinion. On top is a Crate Club brochure, which tells us what we should be getting in here. What they list is a backpack, some shoelaces, a cleaner lubricant, and a knife. We have a number of panels from a company called Vertex. Now I sold and used Vertex. It's great gear. Uh, the FBI uses some of this. So it's high quality stuff. Let's see what they sent though. So a bunch of Vertex panels. We have a Vertex mag holder, Vertex multi-purpose holster, the Takigami. Again, our Rhino laces, just in case we don't have enough black shoe laces. Another Vertex standard mag and kit holster. Some Rand CLP, cleaner lubricant protectant. A Kershaw knife. This is their model 1670 spring assisted opening, locking blade. Kershaw makes a decent knife. And we get a Vertex backpack and the American flag that has been uh, altered to look like it's Crate Club logo on it. So first impressions, kind of underwhelming. So we're going to look at all this gear, see how it all integrates in place together, add up its price and see how that compares to what you're paying for the box and come back and give you our opinion. Okay, just a quick overview of the gear that came in the Crate Club premium crate this month. Again, the Vertex backpack, pretty nice. Um, some Vertex pouches, think they went way overboard. Kershaw knife's okay. Uh, the Rand uh, lubricant, pretty good. Again, you decide, is this worth 400 bucks? Uh, when they throw shipping on top of it, that's another $28 on top. And as good as Vertex is, for a bag like this, there are many less expensive options available. Add in all the Vertex accessories and you're looking at over $300 for a shoulder bag. Really? And $20 shoelaces? Come on, guys. 
I was really hoping to like Crate Club and the gear they sent. I'm a big fan of the SoftRev website and can't recommend it highly enough. And the Vertex bag is top notch, but come on, I just can't in good conscience recommend the Crate Club Premium Crate Program. In my opinion, it comes up way short, not only in the contents that are in the crate, but in the crate itself. From the way the products are just thrown into the box to the cheap cardboard box that they call the crate that's barely sealed when it arrives. Sorry, Crate Club, but you really disappointed us here at Really Great Gear. It's not that some of the things you put in aren't good, there's just not enough there for the value. If there are other products you wanna see us review, please put them in the comments below. And if you like this video, please give it a like and a subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next time with more really great gear.